uh, because right now this giant mound was in the way, and uh, I just wanted to get it out of here. Whoa! What the? That has never happened. Okay. Well, that was kind of fun. Can we do it again? How's it going guys? Dre here and welcome back to Gold Rush. Today we're going to be doing some more upgrading to our gold mining system. In the last episode we got this beautiful beast here, the Frankenstein, and that has made mining way, way quicker. I've actually done a lot off recording as you can see. Pushed the wall all the way back to the highest part of our claim site, so we're basically at the deepest part possible. It's taking a long time to push this wall now just because of the amount of dirt that we have to push for every inch. But yes, as you can see at the far right, I have earned a little bit of money since the last episode, and I think we're going to get another upgrade for our system today. Now, obviously, we got all the best wheeled equipment now. We've, I think, bought everything, aside from the bulldozer, of course, uh, which we can rent when we do need. But what we haven't upgraded is our Tier 3 system. This is all Tier 3. There's Tier 4 and Tier 5 as well in the game, uh, so we have a lot to upgrade over here. I don't really know what I'm going to buy. I think I want to buy a new rocker if we have enough money. I don't actually know what it's called, but uh, yeah, we're going to see how much money we get. I got to do a pretty major clean out here. We got 10,000 grams of gold. Uh, we'll see how much money we have. We have a loan that we have to worry about as well, uh, but we should be okay. I think we got quite a bit of money right now, and uh, I'm not going to pay off that loan, but it's not really affecting me at all with how much dirt I can push through the system now. So yeah, we're going to go back to Haynes real quick. I think I'm going to leave this here. I've been filling this up with our uh, our gas tank over there. I don't actually need to really go to Haynes to get gas anymore. Uh, but what I do need is to sell some of that magnetite. Maybe we can get another blacksmithing upgrade before we have to refine all this because this is going to take me a long time to refine. So before I forget, I think we only got like 2% in there, but we should have a pretty full bucket. Yeah, we got 20% in this bucket. That doesn't seem like a lot, but when it comes to magnetite, that is... Uh, quite a bit. So there we go. And what what are we sitting with? 4%. It really doesn't seem like it's worth it, but I think we only need a little bit for the next upgrade. Uh, so we'll bring this with us, and we should be able to at least get one blacksmith upgrade. Okay, we're back at the magnetite factory. Time to drop off this giant load of magnetite. There it is. It's gone. Did I get... How much did I get there? Well, okay, we're at 92 grand. So we started at, I think, 40. So I think we only needed like 60 to get an upgrade. Hopefully that's the case. We're going to go to the blacksmith now and uh, spend a long time there because it's going to take forever to make these gold bars. Okay, we're at the blacksmith. Now, it costs a thousand bucks to smelt each thing of uh, gold. That's 567 grams of gold. So let's go to upgrade. I'm still thinking 70,000 grams to uh, buy the medium shares, which is the smelting cost reduced. I don't know how much it reduces it, but I think that might be the best option. Again, we have the time option, which is quite cheap. But that just means I have to sit here for a little less, and I don't really mind sitting here. And then we have the uh, upgrade that allows a bigger gold yield, uh, which would basically mean I uh, can save time as well. But the big thing is cost right now. So, yeah, we're going to upgrade that. We don't have enough for high-end polymer. That's 375,000 grams of magnetite. I don't know how you can afford all these things. This is absolutely crazy. Uh, so, yeah, we're just going to upgrade this. And there goes all our magnetite, basically. We've got 22 grand in the bank. And now let's see how much it costs to smelt this. 662. So we're saving about 300 bucks every bar. Really not that big of an upgrade, but, I mean, it's magnetite. I mean, it's a free upgrade. And it should help out over time. Well, it only took all day, but look at that. We got a full truckload of gold. Well, not really a full truckload, but that'd be nice. One, one day, I hope we can actually have a full truckload of gold, because that would be amazing. So let's go see how the stock's doing right now. Uh, dropped a little bit from when I last checked it. Let's look at, like, the last year, for example. We're actually looking pretty good for the last year. Uh, so we're going to sell these gold bars, 23 grand. Not bad at all per bar. We should have a lot of money in the bank then. So this will basically decide what we're going to upgrade because these upgrades are going to get really expensive now. Some of them are well over the million dollar range. Uh, so we're definitely not going to get, you know, a full tier 4 upgrade, for example. But I think what we're going to try and do is buy the upgraded rocker. Uh, we'll see if we have enough to do that. I have honestly have no idea how much money it is, but I think it was like 500 grand So it's looking like we should be able to afford that with some money in the bank, which is really really good I wish there was an option to just sell all I mean, this is a good problem now I have so much gold it takes forever to uh, smelt it and sell it So I guess I really can't complain too much at all, but there we go. We're sitting with 565 grand in the bank 
Uh, I think that's pretty damn good for it's not even summer yet. We're just at the start, or sorry, the middle of spring. All right, so now it's time to go shopping. So we have options. Now, the reinforced trommel, uh, well, that actually we have enough for. Uh, but the one I probably would want to get is the old Arnold's first, and then we'd upgrade to the reinforced. I don't think that's going to help too much. That's just going to go to the duplex jig and probably get more yields for them. Actually, no, now that I think about it, it does hit the Miner's Moss as well, so that's that's one option. The other one, we currently have... What do we have? <laughs> the Shaker, the ordinary one. The upgrade... Wow, okay, Glacier Creek's 1.2 million, so we're definitely not going to be able to get that. The D-Rocker, 480 grand. I think this is probably what I'm going to buy. This basically converts to this, and I know how this one works. It's got, like, wheels underneath this uh, thing that go back and forth. It's actually pretty cool. The other option is to upgrade our duplex jigs to the gravel pump, but the- wow. I don't even have enough for one gravel pump? Those have to help out a lot. I think also the planter, yes, the planter is also an option with this upgrade, so I guess we'll probably do that one first, because uh, this is technically tier 5, and wow, is tier 5 expensive. So yeah, my options are the old Arnold's Trommel, the D-Rocker, or this little planter right here. I technically could actually buy both of those, but that'd be cutting it a little bit too close for comfort. Everything else we've bought, and so those are our three options, and yeah, I think the best one is definitely going to be the D-Rocker, so we're going to buy that. Uh, your, old Arnold your old Arnold Shaker is only suitable for scrap. Go to the next level of sifting and buy a D-Rocker now. We guarantee a lot more profits. Well, that's what I like to hear. Let's buy it. I guess you could technically rent it. That'd be kind of fun to rent a whole system, but I, I don't like the idea of rental costs because we're obviously just going to lose too much money. So yeah, let's get our D-Rocker. That's going to give us about 100 grand, which is perfect. That's kind of what I wanted, just in case, you know, we do have to pay off our loan and everything. Uh, so that's 30 grand a day and employee fees as well are a thing. So yeah, we'll check out here, order that. And I also forgot we can technically sell the old shaker as well. That's probably worth a little bit of money. So we're going to send this from the storage area to good old river town here and there we go our first upgrade past tier three this is this is kind of exciting it's a it looks rather small but this should help out a lot i'm really excited about this thing uh because the better yields we can get i mean the more money we're gonna make so we're gonna have to get this thing started up again we haven't used this in a while the mechanics i'm working on it as you can see um i think it's ready to go it doesn't need to be perfect we just need to attach chains to it and all my chains, oh, we only got the little guys here. We, well, we could probably use those little guys. I don't know where my big guys are. Actually, I think we got enough considering these two are over here. Okay, say goodbye, you old rust bucket, because we got a new guy in town. Now, I, this is probably absolutely dumb, but I only have three pulleys right now, or wh whatever these chains are considered. Um, figured I'd just try it with three of them. We'll see what happens here and hope for the best. Uh, oh wait, remove the hose before detaching. Okay, that, that would be smart to not have things connected to this. It's gonna be hard to put something in there because of that damn conveyor belt, but there we go. No big deal with three. <laughs> okay, we're gonna buy another cord for the other one because that just <laughs> happened. Oh, I never said I was professional, guys, but hey, if it works, it, it works, so who cares? All right, so we're just gonna bring this over here and sell it. I don't, I, well, this is worth, I think, 90 grand it was, so we should get about 45 grand back. So, definitely worth it to sell this thing. Also, there was a little bit of dirt in this. It's definitely not in there anymore. <laughs> ah! What the? Jesus Christ, that scared the frig out of me. What, what did I get caught on? That stupid post? Okay, so I broke one. Oh, no, it's actually just on the ground there. That, man. Wait, wait to give me a heart attack. I didn't expect anything to happen there. All right, we're just not going to move ahead, because it clearly doesn't want me to. Okay, now this actually, I don't want to jinx it, but it shouldn't be too hard because this is actually a smaller machine than the old shaker, so we should be able to wedge this thing in quite easily. But as you can see, this is why I wanted to flip it, uh, so we're not sitting here fl flipping it over here because that would be a nightmare to deal with. Okay, so now we just... Uh, perfect! Okay, man, it never goes that easy. We're ready to go. Man, it's, it's not even midnight yet. I, I thought this would take a while to set up. Usually it does. But hey, I'm not going to complain. Okay, we'll just go park this thing. Thank you, Mr. Excavator. We haven't seen you in a while, so it's nice that you got to help out a little bit. And now we have the D-Rocker. All right, looks like we're going to do some late mining tonight, but this is really exciting. So, uh, very similar to the other one. Let's just turn this on and see if it works like I assume it does. 
Uh, that's not how to do that. Plug that in, please. Thank you very much. And... Wait, does this thing... Does the D-Rocker need water? Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, I got, I got excited there thinking it didn't need water for some reason. Uh, that should be everything, though. Yeah, we got water. We got connection for power. And let's just turn this on and make sure it's all good. We actually have a little bit of dirt in the system, so we should see it working here as well. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Why is there no... Stop all, stop all. What's going on here? Why is there no water going through? Oh, maybe we don't have any dirt, unless it already went through the system. I thought there was a little bit in the conveyor belt. It looks like there isn't, so I don't have to really worry about the water, but... What's going on with the water now? Um, I'm not... It says I should be getting water. Let's try and turn that on again. Sometimes it's a little buggy, the water systems in this game. No, I'm not getting... Ooh, what's going on here? Wait... No! Are you serious? It's too much water in the system now. So, what happens if I turn off the wavetable and whatnot? Are we good? Uh, it's still considered part of the system, so we might need to... Actually, no, that, that, that there's no water going to the wave table or anything, it's just the energy. What am I saying? So I actually only have two, well, technically three water connections, so what happens... Oh, uh, really? I don't even understand why these things need water, because, well, the, the water's being poured literally onto them. But, if I want... How am I gonna... So I'm gonna need an extra pump just to go to this? That doesn't make, oh, that doesn't seem worth it at all. And then we run into the issue, if we get another pump, I have no more connections here. I'm maxed out on this thing. So I'd need another little generator, and that would just be too much upkeep. You know what, I'm just gonna keep this off for the time being. I'll see, I'm kinda curious if any gold goes through it without any water. For right now, I just wanna see this thing work. Uh, we'll probably try and fix the system a little bit later, because obviously it would make sense to try and get as much gold out of here as possible. But there we go, it's working. So how this thing works is it has these rows of tires at the bottom, and they're just going back and forth. They're going to kind of snake the bigger boulders down to here, and then all the good stuff goes down below somehow. I think it just comes out on that, on that yellow frame there. And somehow this is much more efficient than the ordinary shaker, at least hopefully. So let's see if it is. We're gonna do a quick run here and see what we can get. Now I should warn you guys, we're getting into some really bad ground right now. Uh, I've been averaging like a thousand grams of washout, so we'll see what happens here. Hard to kind of gauge which system's going to be better or how more efficient this system's going to be because, you know, you know, the ground always changes. But if we can get over a thousand grams, I'm going to say this is a, a pretty damn good system. So I've been doing a little bit of a different strategy here too. To save fuel on my conveyor belt, I intentionally don't turn this thing on at the start. I didn't realize you can actually stockpile dirt at the front here kind of confusing because you don't actually see the dirt but you can see the percentage uh, with that that little bucket indicator there it can actually hold basically a dump truck worth of dirt on the conveyor belt before you even turn it on and start moving it so obviously with how quickly this conveyor belt eats gas for some reason uh i just keep this thing off until i actually have this thing filled and then turn it on and do a little bit more mining while we're loading up the truck it seems to be much more efficient and i'm not really dropping any time at all uh doing it this way all right, and there we go. We got 96% in the hopper. Now, what I do now is just turn on my system and let this thing load up. And uh, instead of sitting here wasting time, I've timed this out. I generally have about three shovels worth of uh, dirt before this truck fills up. So I'm not wasting time. While this thing fills it, we're going to try and fill the conveyor belt a little bit more. And uh, yeah, just try and be as optimized as possible in our systems. So yeah, I totally forgot that you can store dirt on this thing. I, I, it doesn't really make sense though, because there's no hopper there. It's just an end of a conveyor belt. So not really sure where it's storing all that dirt, but it's definitely there. And now we don't need to have the conveyor belt on 24 seven, which uses way too much gas. But now we should, I should have turned that thing off. We'll turn it off in a second. We should be almost filled. Let's just check. Yeah, 72%, we actually made good time there. Let me go turn that thing off real quick. By the time we're done that, this thing should be filled, and we'll basically have another dump truck ready to go right when we get back because of the amount we still have on the conveyor belt, which is 50%. So yeah, I found this to be the most efficient way. It just makes me save time and saves gas as well. Uh, so yeah, it's really nice that you can actually store dirt on this Frankenstein. All right, but here comes the dirt, and yeah, you can see it kind of snakes the dirt down the system, making it stay there longer, at least a little bit longer, and that means more gold chances to get into our actual system. So this should be good. Now I'm curious, are these things going to fill up faster too? 
Uh, we'll have to keep an eye out on the, what the shaker was an average of four dump trucks filled. Fit filled. I'm assuming it will be the same here, but you never know. Uh oh, my! I think my hydraulics just broke. That thing just went automatically down on its own. Oh yeah, we got problems. Oh man, we're leaking hydraulic fluid. Uh, okay, you know what? Actually, we're fine with the system. We'll just let that go. Let's figure out. Let's turn this thing off. Oh god, I hope this isn't a really expensive upgrade. Okay, how the hell do I get rid of this? Um, crowbar? Okay, I guess that's how. So now we need, what is this? A piston, a giant piston. Oh crap, that's right! The tablet, it, man, you, you just hate me today, don't you? All right, so we gotta go all the way to Haynes to buy this damn part if we want to. How much do we need in our system right now? We just put an another thing through. We still got dirt going through the system, but yeah, we, we, we can't do a clean out yet. I'm gonna have to go all the way to freaking Haynes just for this one little part. So we'll shut everything off while we're gone, and let's go get this damn part. Maybe we'll even fix this. I just, I don't know what the best way is to deal with that. I don't need much water output. Do I, but do I buy another giant pump like this? Is this it? Ah, perfect, right there. Wow, that's way more expensive than I thought it would be. Uh, three grand right there. Oh God, how much is the pump? I don't know if it's worth it to buy it right now. Actually, 16 grand. It's not as bad as I thought. So we're gonna buy that. Also, we're going to need. I think what we're gonna do. Let's buy one of the power splitters. Maybe we can utilize this because we gotta think. My big electric uh, thing now doesn't have enough connections. Once I include this one, so I need to figure out what I want to do with my power. We're gonna add a few cords in here. Uh, obviously, we need one of these, maybe even two. Yeah, let's do two just in case. And wait, let's actually see. It uses the big guys, but I'm going to need it to convert to a little guy. So I don't know everything I need. So let's just buy a bunch of pieces. I'm stuck. So yeah, just to save time, I don't know what we'll all need here. Let's just buy a few things. And uh, I mean, it's good to have this stuff in the bank anyways. All right, well, I did make a mistake. Uh, this this water issue we're having is going to be a bigger problem than I thought. Uh, because I thought for some reason these uh, pumps use the small electrical cord. No, they use the big one, and we're kind of at a standstill here because everything on my big connections are all needed. I was thinking I could just take out maybe the shaker or something or put it on one of the other connectors. Uh, and be fine? No, if we want another big water pump, we need another big generator. I, I could use the small generators, but I don't want to deal with refilling these little machines. They're such a pain in the butt and slow down my system so much. So I think in the next episode, we're going to have to go buy a second generator here and have two generators going. Um, so yeah, I'm going to disassemble this, but basically I did have this all set up and I'm dumb and I didn't look at the electrical first, so yeah, we're gonna have to go back to only having one for right now just because our, our water output's maxed. So I honestly don't think this cleanout's gonna be good at all. I decided I wanted to expand out my walkway in, and if you remember, there was that giant mound of dirt that I uh, pushed over here uh, to make the passageway in originally. That dirt had close to no gold in it. I'm still mining it, as you can see, so I really don't think we're gonna get a really good payout today, but I'm still excited about the D-Rocker anyways, uh, cause I know I'm getting more yields with that thing regardless. Uh, but yeah, I'm just warning you guys ahead of time, I honestly don't think it's gonna be a good payday today because I'm doing some of the worst dirt that we probably have ever done. Just to expand this out so we can get that Frankenstein closer to the edge that I'm currently mining, uh, because right now this giant mound was in the way and uh, I just wanted to get it out of here. Whoa, what the? That has never happened. Okay. Well, that was kind of fun. Can we do it again? Uh, uh oh. What's going on here? Uh, what the hell? I had the handbrake off, didn't I? Okay, no, par parking brake was on. Jesus Christ. Well, that's pretty much all of it. I still have somehow some gas in this thing. And there we go. So that whole mountain that I, I built is now officially gone. And it's all inside the conveyor belt right now. All right, and I think that's gonna be it. We're gonna run out of gas anyways, so we're just gonna let this go into the dump truck. This should be a full dump truck anyways. And yeah, call it a day. Do a quick clean out, see how we did. I'm excited, man. Oh, damn it, hold on. 
Another breakdown. Of course, I mean, everything breaks down now. Let's stop this real quick. I think it's, yeah, it's just, just the duplex jig. I didn't realize that one of these things actually broke. Oh, wait. Oh, damn it. Is it? I hate this so much. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna let the system go. Clearly, our system's just breaking down everywhere. We'll just finish up the, the rest of this little bit of dirt. And I guess the one bucket's not going to get 100%. Funny enough, if you don't have two of the uh, pumps, this thing doesn't pump at all. So we're not getting any dirt in this stuff. Uh, still, it's at 88%, so we're really not losing much at all. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be a pretty rough washout, considering we, we missed four moss mats as well. All right, well, got to say, I'm not too excited about this clean out. Usually, with the gold nuggetator, it takes over one bucket. This one had a 71% yield. That tells me there's probably not much gold in this system. Um, the big question will be, what will the duplex jigs give? Now, like I said, it's been pretty dry recently. Getting to the top of that hill has been basically no gold at all. Uh, the average clean out for me has been about 1,000 grams. So if we can get that, I'll be happy, considering I'm even at a worse part of dirt right now because I focus on that dirt I moved from the edge. Uh, there really probably won't be too much gold in here at all. Oh my god, it's going so slow. Oh, man, I was... I'm, I don't know why I thought it would be a good idea to get the worst dirt right now checking out this new D-Rocker system. The thing is, I know we're getting more gold per amount of dirt. That's just how the system's gonna work. If it's more upgraded, it's gonna get more yields. But yeah, I just wanted to expand out our walkway, and I know this, like, I knew, I know this cleanup's gonna be pretty bad. Look at that. 54. Okay, I was averaging 70, uh, and I was getting about a 1,000, so I'm gonna be surprised if we even get a 1,000 right now. That's awful. That's the worst duplex jig bucket I've ever gotten. Okay, here's our first big bucket. That was from the top. 265 grams. Yeah, we are just at... That's why I didn't mine out this dirt originally. I just wanted to move it. I knew there would be nothing in the dirt, and indeed, there is nothing. Man. Hey! I mean, it's a pretty damn good bucket. There we go. How much was in that? 378. So, definitely not our best cleanout ever. I, like I said, I didn't expect it to be, though. I wish there was an easy way to compare how good of an upgrade this thing is, but there's no easy way to tell how much more gold I'm getting. Uh, just because the dirt is so drastically different the more we go around. But yeah, we're mining. We're doing a lot of work right now, and this is by far going to be our best season ever. Uh, we're obviously going to fo focus on slowly getting the Tier 4 upgrades now because that's going to help us out immensely. And soon we should be getting into the gold veins here. Let's actually check real quick uh, kind of where those things are. So we're going to go to the gold map real quick. Tier 2, or sorry, Parcel 2. Now, this is kind of what we're mining right now, I believe. If we uh, toggle this square on, we might not even see it um, just because it's all mined out. Oh, and that makes sense. When I hover over them, there's zero, as you can see, because it's all mined out. It just shows how good the yields used to be. But we are very close to getting back to the gold veins here, and the gold vein goes all the way down this way. Uh, from what it looks like, at least, if you look at the gold map, you can kind of follow it and see that this is obviously some really good gold. So... Slowly and surely as we go down this way, we're gonna get more and more gold and that's what I'm excited about We got through the barren dirt the boring dirt and now we should be getting some good yields Especially with our tier 4 upgrades. So yeah, we're gonna wrap up this one here guys I hope you guys enjoyed this upgrade or episode. I got upgrades on the mine clearly uh, checking out the new D rocker upgrade and uh, Yeah, dealing with some more breakdowns and some more issues. We're gonna have to Probably buy a new generator in the next episode so we get the full yields out of our system. Because, um, yeah, kind of need that. But, yeah, we'll worry about that in the next one, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one.